hello and welcome back again to the channel today i'm going to react to a video talking about the story of gog and magog from the muslim nation you know the music in the islam is haram but the new scholar they choose to make the music so they can make you get into the mood and like switch off your head and open your heart so you can just as anything they give you without asking questions from every one of you there is 999 of your so if it, there is one of us, uh, 1,000 from them, that's, that's a lot of them. We have killed the inhabitants of the world. Let us now kill the inhabitants of the skies, meaning the, oh, man. the angels. And they will take them. We will kill the angels. Kill their arrows and they will start shooting into the air. And Allah Azza wa Jal will cause their arrows to return. With <laughs> then Muhammad think that if they shoot to the sky, they're going to take the angel down. Because in that time, they think that the sky is only a dome. A few hundred kilometers or a few kilometers away, there is angels there. And above them, Allah sitting in his throne. See how stupid this belief is. With blood on them. And they say, we have now killed the people of the sky. Malakn al -ard. We are now the kings of earth. So they will be terrifying these people. Effect and everything. This, this is just like uh, the way they take your, you know, to take your mind. So you know, thinking, you're just taking anything they say to you. So yeah, George and George. Strange yeah. wordings. They're yeah, they are very, very strange. Let's see. Actually, two words. Yeah, George is one, and George yeah. is another. Yeah, yeah, George and. And, in, and when you say it in Arabic, for an Arab who listens to that word, yeah, George and George. Oh, yeah, George in George, there is no like Arabic uh, no meaning to it. It's just a translation from Gog and Magog, actually. It's a very harsh and you know, coarse word. Mm. Uh, there's a verse in the Quran, Ujaj is a uh, more salty, like of bitterness of something, like more salty or more sweet. You said, yeah, Juj. It comes from the root word of, of, of uh, Ujaj, to be dry. Ujaj is something more than something like Ujaj. Milh Ujaj is like oh, more saltier than normal. That's the meaning of it, not the way you want to, you know, frame it. To be dry and to be harsh. And it also... This is only your translation to the, the word. It comes from the meaning al Aj, meaning when the enemy comes really fast, close to you really fast, comes, attacks you really quickly. So these Ya'juj and Ma'juj, they are dry and harsh in nature. And when they come out, they're going to come out so quickly. Where they are, where they are. If they're going to come out, where they are. That's the question we want to know, where these people are. And so fast, you will not be able to stand in front of them. You have to run away from them. That's what the scholars tell us about these meanings. And where are you gonna run away from them if they come? We say every each one of us there is 999 of them. So how are you gonna run away for all of this? Yeah, Juj is a tribe. Yeah. yeah, Juj is another tribe, but they yeah. are related. Okay, they are tribes, so we know they are close to human nature. Okay. And they are actual human beings. Oh, holy shit. They are actual human beings. Okay. Yeah, Juj and Juj are human beings. They are tribes that yeah. actually exist on earth. So where they are if they are human beings they don't eat they don't go to the toilet they don't have babies uh, they don't breathe they, they are uh, human beings human beings they cannot hide for where they are we are seven billion now so oh man Earth. they existed close yeah. to the time of musa alayhi salam in an era well, the Quran is clear. Don't they do us like this? Oh, they exist in time of Musa. The Quran is clear. When they are open, they are alive and they are in between two mountains. They should be now there. The era of a great, great king named mm. Zulkarnain. Mm. Alexander Akbar become a king and a good king. Anyone heard of Zulkarnain? Yeah, Zulkarnain is two horns. Zulkarnain the man of the two horns he was called yeah. that name because he used to wear a, a hat that had two horns coming out of it yeah because the, in the money that time in the seventh century there was a lot of money of showing that uh, alexander had two horns that's where the name came from Zulkarnain was an extremely powerful king and he was a worshiper of allah a righteous Zulkarnain was not a worshiper of allah Zulkarnain was an idol worshiper just muslim king among the best that ever existed <laughs> on earth <laughs> They, they make him a Muslim. <laughs> Alexander Akbar, they make him a Muslim. <laughs> and he had so much power, so much authority, that his kingdom reached almost the whole world. Why do I say almost? Because there were parts of the world 
where civilization hadn't reached yet as today. But whatever existed in that time, wherever civilization reached, Dhul Qarnayn had power to there, yeah. right to the end part of civilization. Oh, this should be a great man. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Dhul Qarnayn in Surah Al-Kahf. He reached yeah. a very far distance in land. Yeah. He used to go around the whole world to see who is being oppressed, who is doing good to reward them. But he going to spend all his life if he just would go with the horse with, with his feet. Trump just uh, travel all over the world in just four years more than the Dhul Qarnayn traveled you know, all his life justice between people he used to physically go out with his army like that looking everywhere as far as he can that's what he spent his life in traveling the world and applying justice and worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everywhere he went Dhul Qarnayn this clear similarity between the Alexander Al Akbar and Dhul Qarnayn there is no way he's going to be somebody else like this uh, the king or if his rule was reached all over the world he mean that the history have recorded this man so Allah describes one of his journeys he went one time to establish justice and when yeah. he reached Allah says in the Quran حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس وجدها تغرب في عين حمئة until he reached the the sun sets and he found it <laughs> sitting in a murky water. When he yeah. reached the place of the setting of the sun, so the sun sitting in a murky water. He found it setting in a murky pond or in a yeah, of course, that the delusion of the, the sun setting in the sea, they put it in the Quran because Muhammad does not know exactly where the sun sets. Murky water. He found that the sun was setting in, uh, there's two recitations here, Ayn and Hamia means cloudy. It doesn't matter, Mr. Yasser Qadi, if we have two or five or six recitation. The Arabic is clear. Ayn is the place where his water come out. The water, and then there's another qira'a, Ayn al Hamia, boiling hot water. And both of these are valid. So it was a strange type of lake. It was not a regular lake. We don't know that the sun sitting somewhere in some lake or something. We know the sun is still and we revolve around the sun. It's sun is still relative to the earth. It was a lake that was muddy and very hot and some have said this might be lava or something of this nature. Allah knows best it was something. That's always they do you to that when they don't know something or they, they are afraid to say what, what it is they tell you and Allah knows best it is in Arabic hikmah it just mean as a wisdom of Allah. You should not be questioned this it just is a Allah knows best. Different rather than regular water it's something different. Ainin Hamia wa wajada indaha qawma and they found he found over there a group so this this sun does not burn these people or these people next to the sun down there in that murky water they don't burn them group of people there was no more land beyond where he reached meaning Dhulqarn what how there is no more land the earth is around they always they always have land when you reach they always going to have a land That's they reached sense. the farthest land where nobody could reach even further there was no more civilization after this yeah, probably here is Japan, that's why maybe. Probably. Yeah, that's what the verse is talking Yeah, but the sun sets in another direction. So but probably here is Spain or Portugal and I think that here is the, the end of he the world. He found a passageway between two mountains. The said are two mountains. Yeah. And he found ah, there a group. Ah, ah. Now we have the, the location of this Gog and Magog. They are between two mountains. So nobody gonna tell me they are under the earth or they are in the sky or they don't like born yet or they, they are between two mountains where is this two mountains group of people they could not speak to him what this means is they were cut off from all civilization he found there people that could hardly understand normal speech yeah so how did he gonna communicate with them very primitive in speech uh, primitive like Neanderthal probably so Allah is indicating that Dhul Qarnayn went to a far away land cut off from human civilization cut off from contact with other groups of human the Quran always not clear exactly it's not like the Bible they give you like a story and they give you clear information Quran always keep you in the dark like this is it's like somebody hearing something but you're not sure and he just like he you know he's like manage himself you know he keep you in the dark guessing you know guessing the story he reached a place far away where is this place bro human beings they couldn't even communicate and this is the the height of being cut off from other civilizations so they communicated through other than speech 
which is everybody can do this you can always communicate basic stuff uh mm -hmm. images yeah, if I bring you somebody from Neanderthal and bring it now here and see if you can communicate with him uh, and whatnot, so going to hit you with a stone. So they said to the Qarnain that Ya'juj and Ma'juj are causing a lot of evil on this earth. So this means that so they were down, down there that time and they were alive from the time of Adam. So these people, they exist now with us. They should be. This tribe and Ya'juj and Ma'juj were interacting with one another. So, Ya'juj and Ma'juj are causing evil. They are plundering, they are killing us, they're raping, they're causing our damage, they're causing much... Here, Allah create human beings with all this bad thing happening and all this script is not going well. And he create Ya'juj and Ma'juj as well. So why, why do we need more problems? You know, why creating more problems? Just leave us alone. Evil in the land. Can you please help us? Ya'juj and Ma'juj, Mufsiduna fil ard. They are corruptors on earth. Yeah, always Muslims said Mufsidun, you know, corruption. What is corruption? Sleeping with the woman, it's not your wife, is a corruption. Stealing is a corruption. But is if you're stealing the spoils, stealing women from uh, disbeliever, well, it's not a corruption, as Allah say. Now, I want you to analyze with me over here. Yeah, These analyze. people who are complaining to Dhul Qarnayn, well, you asking to people to analyze and you're telling a myth story, you know, you're telling people that there is people living with us, they are a human tribe living with us and we cannot see them. And you tell me, analyze, how do you analyze? Where are these people, bro? They were very primitive in lifestyle and in language. Yeah, okay. So he reached the border of the world where civilization was... You see, the border of the world. There is a border. So if you want to cross the border from this world to another world. So behind. And they were trying to explain to him about this other... He used visa, probably. ...other civilization that are even worse than them. That are even more primitive, worse and corruptive than these people that he just met. If we pay you, you are such a mighty king. You have this vast army. You clearly are from a superior civilization. You seem to be a good man because you're so nice to us. Take this money and protect us from Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Can you build a wall between us and them? They come through this valley, build a wall. Well, this, if you build a wall, well, these people are kind of going to go around the world. How long you will take them to build a wall? 100 years, 300 years you know, to cross all the China or all the Western country. Yeah, but this story have no head, no a barrier between us and them so that they can't come to us okay. and they can be cut off from the world yeah probably in china or somewhere else islam only talking about story go around you know middle east then dhul qarnayn replies yeah. Yeah. but dhul qarnayn he was not a good man he was he was an idol worshiper bro Whatever allah has given me is better than your money i don't need your money i don't need your money i will yeah. do it fi sabilillah I don't need your money. I will do it for myself. I will I will block these people by myself. Let's see what's he gonna do. I will do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what I need from you, فَأَعِينُونِي بِقُوَّةٍ You help yeah. me with your manpower. I need a lot of help for what I'm about to do. My army he need a lot of people to make a wall. Army won't suffice me. You help me with your physical strength. So Dhul Qarnayn says, Atuni Zubar al Hadid. Bring me uh, pieces of iron or sheep. How much he need? If you want to make a, a bridge between two mountains, how much uh, iron? This is just a bridge, not even a barrier. How much iron you need? Bits of iron. Zubar is the uh, nuggets, if you like. Nuggets of iron. Bring me iron. Hatta idha sawa bayna sadafain. When he had laid it between the two mountains yeah. so he's building a type of barrier with iron which is right now cold is it them I mean yajuj and majuj is a water he said yeah. <laughs> blow and the blowing here is with the bellows with the fire so how are you gonna just blow and make a fire you know to to melt iron so he can make a barrier how this is possible in that time you know how this is possible to make a big wall like thousands one if well i don't know so once he's put the iron there a massive fire is well this wall they said is iron so this should be there because it's not break until the day of the judgment uh, we should see it all google map and all of this and pictures and aeroplanes going around uh, nobody's seen this you know this wall where it is being built a fire that is so hot that all of this mm. iron will become molten ore and stick together so this mm. is the if you're gonna make a bridge just a bridge between two mountains you will need like uh, 100 years to make it in that time 
help that he needs from these people. Allah knows how they built such a large fire. Allah Always go go around and tell you and tell you Allah knows better. You know? They never tell you how he did it. Allah knows what they did, but the Qarnain had the technology to do that. And you have the technology, have the machine that time to build an iron wall between two mountains. And it was so massive that it is between two mountains. So apparently the people of Ya'juj and Ma'juj were trapped inside an area where they had no escape out of. And Allah says in the Quran, an wa They trapped down there until the day of the judgment. That is what he wants to say to you. They could neither climb over it, nor could they dig underneath it. This is really what it translates into. So yeah. the whole idea here, Allah is telling us that He built a wall or a barrier yeah. or a dam, something yeah. that was so strong, yeah. so impermeable, yeah. that nothing can reach and nothing can come, nothing yeah. can break it down anymore. So where is he? Where is he? If nothing can break this wall, he should be you know, standing up to now. No climate, no people. Oh, no climate. So where is he? If no climate's going to take this dam down, we should see it. Seven billion living here in the earth. Or if one of us, nine, 99 of them, the trillions of people behind this wall. No weaponry, nothing. No one was. They said no weaponry. Well, what? how are you going to take it, this wall with weaponry if you cannot see this wall anyway? was able to break through it and no one was able to overpower it. It was no one according to you because we can't break it because we don't see it we don't pound it bro such a strong wall impermeable to yeah him. very strong wall you know imaginary very strong imaginary wall and when the Qarnain looked at the people they looked at mm. this wall and they said wow this is a very strong wall and wow it's very strong Dhul Qarnayn wanted to teach them a lesson finally. He said, yeah. He said, This is from the mercy of my Lord. This yeah. is a mercy from my Lord. Yeah, Dhul Qarnayn, uh, Alexander, peace be upon him. Lord, and according to one interpreter, he actually fell into sajda, thanking Allah. Oh, he said as well. I see, I told you. Allah, that he was able to do this. He make him as a Muslim as well. So this shows us Dhul Qarnayn realized how evil Ya'juj and Ma'juj are, and he thanked Allah for blocking them up. And then he said, فَإِذَا جَاءَ وَعْدُ رَبِّي جَعَلَ وَهَا دَكَّاءَ yeah, they say, if he a word, Rabbi Jalahu the Kai, you mean the wall going to stand until the day of the judgments so is clear, then where is this wall? You know, the guy who like uh, catching you on something and he like, he leave you, leave you, tell your story until you finish and he tell you where, you know, yeah, where is this wall? Where, where? We want to know. When the promise of Allah will come, and the scholars have interpreted this to mean the day of judgment and the signs of the day of judgment, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause this massive barrier that is impossible for humans to, to penetrate well it's not impossible it's not exist where is this barrier people don't understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause this barrier to crumble and fall flat it will become level to the ground what well, we don't know where is this barrier come on man and the promise of Allah is true this is going to happen what is he saying here he's saying that Yajuj and Majuj will be blocked off from the world until a certain time that is going to come it is only Allah who will allow for this yeah. world to be destroyed and when it is destroyed this Yajuj and Majuj will come out and Allahu Alam if anybody has ever reached that place what this guy what they want to try to tell you nobody don't know like uh, we know every inch and earth we have satellites thousands or even hundreds of thousands satellites going around the earth bro where is this bridge but if you want to know where it is from the tafsir that i've yeah. read and allah knows best of course they you know i feel really sorry about muslim you know they have this this met stories that they are clearly you know contradict everything that that Every science, even a normal person can take an aeroplane from here to Tokyo and from Tokyo to New York and go around the world in, in a two, three days. And then he see everything and then he still, you know, he must believe in the story. Muslim must believe in this because they are in the Quran and there are dozens of ahadith. So he have no way not to reject, you know, it's like a crumbling stone sitting down there just waiting for, for Muslim, you know, just use a 1% of his head thinking about this story he's just going to leave because this guy telling you that there is billions or trillions of people trapped behind the wall and we cannot see them and in the top off of that like they are the salt in the in the wound they tell you they are actual human being think about it
indicate that their, situ their position is somewhere near the upper part of the world, towards the North yeah. Pole. Yeah, this guy, I, this guy is clever. He tried to solve the mystery. He tell you, listen, they are in the upper top of the North Pole. Now, Putin, if he hear you, he's going to be his in his trousers. They're up towards the North Pole area. Are you joking, bro? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best exactly where they are. Yeah, Allah knows best. Always, they, they finish the sentence with Allah knows best. So, it's tell you, please, close lose your head don't don't think about it too much just you know just pass it and allah says and we have left them we have left them meaning yajuj and majuj mm. it's yeah. as if allah is saying there's a huge quantity of them mm. and they are swarming over oh. one another like oh, waves shit. on top of one another holy shit so yajuj and majuj are swarming over one another so yajuj and majuj are mentioned only twice in the quran this yeah, only twice on the Quran and this it up all of This is the first time they are mentioned. Yeah. And in this time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the origin. Where do Ya'juj and Ma'juj or what was their story? Dhul Qarnayn block them up. Yeah. Dhul Qarnayn trap them. And yeah. Allah says, we have left them in this trap. And yeah. they are so many in quantity. It's as if they're like wasps, like bees, like uh, wasps and bees. Why are you sad? They're actually human beings, bro. That you forgot? Bugs, like swarming over one another. But well, they are human beings, same as you said. Other, the but they are isolated from mankind. Hatta until yeah. this will be Allah's law. Until when? Ida futihat yajuj wa majuj. When we let go of yajuj and majuj. We will open up the doors for Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Where these people hiding? That's all we want to know. Where these people hiding? You know, you can't just tell me the stories and you told me what well, nobody knows. No, we have to know because they are here in the earth. They look like human from the prophet the narration. They are look like human beings like Turks or like uh, Asian. They have uh, uh, small eyes and all this description. They are in the Sunnah. So where is these people? <laughs> And they will be descending from every mountain top. So literally, they're like uh, wasps, like bees, like ants everywhere. And these are the only two references in the Quran to Ya'juj and Ma'juj. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Sahihain in Bukhari and Muslim, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam woke yeah. up one afternoon, very, yeah. very concerned, shocked. Yeah, okay. And he said, he, he was sleeping and he wake up shocked. La ilaha illallah, out of shock. Wailun lil Arab. Yeah, just like this, the, the story, like one day the Prophet was sleeping, he just wake up like this, he don't know what's happened. It's he calling for Allah, Zainab, Zainab. He told him what's happened. He told her, it's a big evil coming to the Arab. <laughs> okay, let's see. Woe to the Arabs. Yeah. Hey, just because he drink probably too much or he was just like dreaming something and he wake up and like he don't know what's going on woe to the arabs yeah from an evil that is very close they yeah. said what is the matter ya rasulullah so he said from the uh, from the dam of ya'juj and ma'juj yeah. there has opened up a small hole the size of this today this story make you laugh more than than ever because they depict to you here Allah is like working as a builder they say they, they open like a circle they put with his hand to show you it open and in the hadith they say that Ya'juj and Ma'juj always they, they dig dig and dig until they open a hole then they go to sleep again to wake up next morning to found Allah closed the hole so this cycle repeats until the day of the judgment so these people are too stupid to, to realize that somebody closing the hall. Wall of Ya'juj and Majuz has been opened as much as this. And he made a ring with his fingers. He said this much has been passed through the wall. Of well, even if that time were 1400 years and this dam did not even come down. Of Ya'juj and Majuz. Yeah. Then Zainab radiallahu anha said, Ya Rasulullah, afanahliku wa fina salihun. He said, Will we be destroyed? And among us, there are still righteous people. Yani, when he said, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, it's basically saying that the, the end of the world has come very near. Allah is going to destroy the world. So Zainab says, Ya Rasulullah, are we going to be destroyed so, so soon? And still among us, there are righteous people. There's you.
Well, because he was thinking the, the, the end of the days it was too, so close because he was thinking about his companion because when she asked them, she told him, are we going to die? And between us, the good people who pray among your companions. Right? Because he was thinking that, uh, you know, the day of judgment is so near, a couple of years after his death. That's all he was thinking. You, there's a the Sahaba, there's all these righteous people, you Allah praised in the... I said this by himself, there is you and there is Sahaba between us. So they think that time that, you know, the day of the judgment was like so close to them, you know, not, not as 1400 years past now. Quran, قال نعم. He said, actually, yes, you can be destroyed while righteous people are among you. He said, yes, the righteous people will be destroyed among the non-righteous people, if on one condition, when indecency and mm. immorality spread too much. Uh, he doesn't say exactly indecency and immorality. He's, uh, he said corruption, al fasad, corruption. You just add this one to you know. You put it by yourself down there. It's too much of it. Allah will destroy the people, including the righteous people among them. There are two definitions to this or interpretations. Number one, okay. either because the righteous people are not doing their job, or the corruption has exceeded so much that the righteous people cannot do any more. So it's time to take them away. The test of the world is is, is pointless. Yeah. You see this effect and you know thing and music make you start scared of Allah and you know so all this is all Muslim tricks so they do these tricks so to keep your head close <laughs> Just close your head, First open of all, your mouth. are unable to get out of there. Number one, there are many reasons why. Number one, as we said before, they are a very primitive people. Their understanding of technology is not like ours. They don't know what's okay. going on in the world right now. They don't okay, but they are still trapped down there. That's that's all we want to know. If they are trapped down there and they are actual human beings, so how they eat, how they breathe, how they give babies, how they die, and where they burn these dead people. It, it's all, you know, does not make any sense, you know. Even as six years old children, <laughs> they will know exactly this is just a myth. They don't, they don't have computers, they don't have airplanes, they don't have these weaponry we have. They have nothing. Yeah. And they are between mountains. These mountains are covered with... So, so yeah, where is these mountains? You know, we just want to know where is these mountains, you know. We we go, uh, people go everywhere now. Now everywhere you go, you found people. So where is these mountains? Such bad climate. That if and mountains, you know, in a small place is hiding in the in the jungle or is mountains, they are big, people can see them from, from the satellite. They try to go up these mountains, they'll die. So they can't go around or but if they can go up the mountains, then we can see them by by aeroplanes from us one and from them 999. That means they are now trillions. Just if we count now, we are seven billions. Seven billions multiplied by 999. We'll see what the numbers you're gonna get if your you know calculator is gonna still working. Or on top of this wall, some people said this wall is the Great Wall of China. No, it's not the Great Wall of China. Yeah, the Great Wall of China is broken. You can easily pass through it and on top of it, it's a tourist site. Yeah, um, clever. And some people, they describe them as being short. You know, they're, they're like, they're like really, they're like midgets walking around. Or then they've got these strange eyes and about yeah. uh, the Lord of the Ring. This is all rubbish, you know. This Walking Dead. There's nothing in the Hadith that states that they are like that. Uh, Game of Thrones. Like aliens or something. Yeah. They are real human beings. Yeah. Keep saying they are real human beings if they are real human beings mean they breathe they eat they have babies they have sex they have relation they speak they are loud where these people are you want to make me crazy from the upper part of the world they have a certain look maybe maybe more of an asian look because uh, it's not maybe there is in the hadith to say this one it's that region or more, you know more of more of that type of a look allahu alam but the point is they are people they are humans like you and us but they are just very very corruptive they're more corrupted than the corruptive people of today yeah. immoral uh, no principles nothing and when they come yeah, and they're probably gonna tell them they are like atheist come out they just destroy <laughs> they destroy rob rape kill murder all of these things the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa tells yeah. us 
إذا أوحى الله إلى عيسى أني قد أخرجت عبادا لي لا يدان لأحد بقتالهم. So just to clarify here the, the time when this going to happen. This after the Dajjal. The Dajjal or, or the, the Antichrist is in, in Christianity. He will come. He will reach havoc in the earth. He will kill so many people. Then when the Muslim that time in, in a great danger and earth, earth in a great danger, then Allah will decide to bring Yajuj Majur. Why? This this all you want to know. Why we already have problem with Dajjal and thing start to sort out and Isa kill the Dajjal and and Isa as well coming down from from the sky to kill the, the pig. I don't know why he want to kill pig and break the cross and everything. Then the Muslim become happy and everything. Cool. Then he will send uh, Yagog and Magog. So why? Why? And everything was peaceful. I mean, all this is a script by Allah. You know, is is nothing else. You know, is a script. Allah make this script. To just everything go by his orders. So if you're going to run to the Thor, is like the mountain. Or are these Magog and Magog, they cannot climb, they cannot follow you. These Yajuj and Majuj will come out in a time where Isa alayhi salam has already descended. Yeah. Isa alayhi salam will be among us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send Jibreel alayhi salam to Isa to tell him alayhi salam that a certain type of creations of mine have now been released. Yeah, because Isa at that time he will tell Jibreel, what the f you telling me about this one? You go deal with him because Allah who sent him, you know, why are you going to tell Isa and Isa cannot do nothing about it because he cannot beat them and because even if he beat them, because he cannot even beat them because Allah want them to do it. It's a script anyway. Allah is talking about Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Yeah. So take my servants, meaning take the Muslims, O Isa alayhi salam, take them to the mountain, At-Tur. Tal tur yeah. means here mountain, and hide. You will not be able to beat them. They are too many. They are so many, my dear brothers and sisters, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam once, I want you to listen to this. He... Oh, there are impossible numbers. There's no way earth going to you know, take all of these trillions of trillions of people. You know, where they, if they are now, we should now step in on them. They should be every, you know, everywhere in every corner. <laughs> he sat down with his companions and said, For every yeah. one person that enters paradise, yeah. 999 will enter hellfire. Oh, yeah. that, that's, that's frightening. Well, that's not frightening. That's a lot of them where they are, you know, where they are exactly. It means like, do we have any chance for every one person, 999 enters hellfire? So the Sahabas were concerned and they asked him, Ya Rasulullah, Ithan, therefore none of us will enter paradise, babe. Who's going to enter it? He said, don't worry. From your nation, meaning from, from my nation, just from the Muslims that ever exist, from the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam till the end. That's actually wrong because the hadith said that uh, Allah come in and they ask uh, Adam to bring him from his generation, not from Muhammad, you know, from Muhammad Ummah. It's from Adam, the all humanity. He told him to bring Bat Nar, and yani the people who go into to hellfire, and he bring 999 of them. Not from the world. No, yes, from the world. He, he just want to make it like less, so people are not going to be suspicious. They are like just billions or trillions of people where they are. From the Muslim nation, no, even if the Muslim nation are 1400 years, there's still going to be trillions of them. From every one of you, there is 999 of your Ajuj and Ma'ajuj. There are 90, 999... Well, there are a lot. They should be you know, everywhere. They should be like, uh, like, <laughs> like bees, you know, like ants everywhere. This what these people had to be. more than the nation of Muhammad وسلم, that exists. So if we are, you know, now, let's say a billion or just over a billion, Bro, don't try to count it. <laughs> don't try to count it because I'm always going to have this question where these people are. Always going to have this question where these people are and where they live in and what they eat and what they breathe and where they, you know, they put all them shit, where the, the baby, how they born and, and all of this, you know, technical question gonna come to your head. How many would that make it? Ajuj and Ajuj current? Uh, trillions. In population. They will be trillions. If they are human like us, have prophets come to them? Of course. We don't know which prophet, but we do know they are close to the time of Musa alayhi salam. He is a messenger. But Allah tells us there isn't a single nation except that a prophet has come to them. Yeah, so those people on the Americas or, uh, you know, Brazil and Argentina, and Allah sent prophet to them. Yeah. So they did get a prophet, but they rebelled. Allah only knows Middle East. So they are a large amount. And he says, sallallahu alayhi wa 
well, it keeps saying Lajamond, brother, is impossible. Even if you have like a, a planet f like five times bigger than, than Earth, it's still impossible to have all these people. Yeah. They will pass by the ocean or the sea of Tab. It's not ocean, it's a lake. It is close to Asham, to Syria. See, always it's Tabariya and uh, Al Quds, uh, you know, and uh, Asham, you know, always around this Middle Eastern things. Buhayr al Tabariya, and where Jordan is in Syria, in that area. They will come past Buhayr al Tabariya. Yeah. It's bigger than a lake, smaller than a sea. Yeah. Huge area, probably a few kilometers in, in, in diameter and circumference. Yeah. They will drink every bit of water that's in it. Yeah. Holy shit, they're going to drink a whole, you know, lake of water. <laughs> yeah. Now they're coming like group after group, yeah, because there's a large amount of them. So the first amount of them will drink it all. Uh, Muhammad Smoka, you know, as a joint, you know, a very good marijuana, and he starts speaking. And he tell him the people going to come, he yeah, just measures to Tabariya, because he knows Tabariya, because it's next to him. And they're going to drink all of that water until the last one come in. He said, there was a water here, you know. And then either in the same day or a few days later, the other group is still coming. And they'll come to the same Buhaira, this little sea, and they won't find any water in it. It's dr they drank it all. They're going to drink all the water, you know, it's like a wasps, you know, coming around and eat everything and drink everything, you know, it's cannibals probably, they are cannibals. <laughs> they will say, there was here water. <laughs> we think that there was once upon a time water here. Yeah. Okay, this indicates that they are so those people gonna come to Syria and they're going to drink Tabariya. Jesus as well gonna come and they're going to come to Syria as well and he's going to kill a Dajjal in, in Syria as well and he's going to go Palestine and they're all around you know this area and everything happened before and going to happen in the future is around the small spot. Can you imagine like Jesus coming from the sky you know with his clothes and going around the border and the, the security border ask him where are you going? Uh, and a small knife. Where are you going with this knife? I'm looking for uh, for the jar. I'm looking for the, the guy who have one eye. I want to kill him. <laughs> and they will f arrest him straight away. Phenomenally large population. Juj Majuj is another. Well, brother, it's not large population. It's impossible if you just take uh, take uh, the population of the earth now, 7 billion, multiply it by 999 and see the number of you. That is just what people live in now. Just from the time the Prophet until now, it will be impossible numbers. It will be full earth who have no inch empty, you know, in the earth. Hadith that says when they come out, they will fight the people of the, anyone in front of them, they'll kill them. So there will be non-Muslims that they'll be hiding, but anyone in front of them, they'll kill them. And Ya'juj and Ma'juj will conquer the world. They will cause fitna and fasad. Yeah, they will cause fitna and fasad and will conquer the world and will kill everybody. But who sent them? Yeah, who sent them? Allah who sent them. He means Allah wants to do that. And they will kill everyone until... Yeah, Allah wants to kill everyone, you know, to kill the babies, to make them drink all the water. So people going to starve and... Because there is actually another hadith said he's going to drink all the water in the world. <laughs> You Finally, see, they will say, message. we have killed the inhabitants of the world. They don't know that Isa is hiding with his followers. We have killed the inhabitants of the world. They killed the, the people in here, so they're going to kill the people in the sky. The world, let us now kill the inhabitants of the skies, meaning yeah. the angels. And they will take their arrows and they will start shooting into the air. You still believe in shooting arrows into the sky in the time of the aeroplane and the missile and <laughs> the nuclear power and... So stupid. And Allah Azza wa Jal will cause their arrows to return with blood on them to give them the assumption that they have genuine. Allah is very clever, you know. <laughs> right, he said in a verse, Wayam Corona, Wayam Corona. They're making traps, Allah is clever than them. <laughs> you know. They only killed everyone. They think they killed all the people of earth. They turn their arrows to the sky and they return with blood on them. And they say, we have now killed the people of the sky. Malakna al-Ard. We are now, we are now the kings of earth. وَيُحْصَرُ نَبِيُّ اللَّهِ عِيسَى وَأَصْحَابُهُ وَأَصْحَابَهُ حَتَّى يَكُونُ رَأْسَ الثَّوْرِ لِأَحَدِهِمْ خَيْرًا مِنْ مِئَةِ دِنَارٍ لِأَحَدِكُمُ الْيَوْمِ Yeah. He said, Isa alayhi salam, the Prophet of Allah and his companions, if yeah. we are there, and we follow him, we ask Allah to make us among them if we are there. We'll
you muslim you know is stuck in this you know mess of the, the end of the world they have the al mahdi al muntadar they have uh, antichrist dajjal and they have jesus christ as well coming down and they have a deba and these animals you know all, all this in christianity makes sense you know jesus coming back but in islam jesus coming back it does not make sense when you ask them why he's going to come back it is why well, he gonna he going to kill the pig so he's going to come back just to kill the pig and break the cross how if you want to kill the pig allah the, who created the pig why you want to come down to kill it that's just will be his companion isa Islam and his companion will be in prison in prison meaning they'll be restricted to the mountain yeah but this year gog and magog they cannot climb the mountains you know if they reach everywhere in the world they cannot they are too stupid they, they cannot claim the mountains well, how are they gonna cross to to the america or to australia no oh, they're gonna drink you know the sea water all the water and we will have no we will have no no way to get to food a buffalo would be more valuable than a hundred dinars yeah. of your time process i'm speaking to his companions 100 dinars in those days was yeah. like saying something like a hundred thousand dollars of our time Something okay. like that, something like that. So what it means is that they will be in, in so much need of food. Yeah. Then Isa a.s. and his companions yeah. will start supplicating to them, make dua. Why are they going to make dua to Allah? They know exactly Allah who is uh, let Gog and Magog come to destroy the earth. And they know they cannot beat them because Allah who sent them. So what was the point of asking Allah? Because they, they already knows. To Allah because they'll be in such a hard time. You know, so funny, Nagaf, you know, this you know, small animal living in the, the air of, of the camels. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, desert thing. You know, this Prophet, you know, know all, you know, the dogs, camels, you know, and the chickens and all around, you know, what live in the deserts. But live in the desert, stay in the desert. Will respond to the dua of Isa alayhi salam and his companions and he will send a disease, a worm. Nagaf is a worm, type of worm or a type of parasite. Ah, you know, that type of the worm living sometime in the dog or in the camel and they have blood, they, they suck blood from, from the animal. Site that will come out of the necks of the Ajuj and Majuj as a disease. And they're showing you the DNA. They Allah have the power. They tell him B and and it is. You know he can just tell them die. Why are you going to make this film and make a small animals nagaf and to go to them head and to kill them and this this and you know, like series TV show. It'll it'll be in their necks. That's where it'll the disease will be situated. And then they will all look like as if they have been killed all at once. Like you're in a battle and then why why all, all this drama have to happen that's 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 the main question the muslim should ask you know allah why this drama have to happen and be killed all at once they'll all die wherever they are on earth as if one body has died they'll all die at once then isa alayhi salam and his companions will be told to come down how will they be told isa alayhi salam will send a man he'll say yeah. who of you will volunteer to go down and check you know very very clever man he, he don't want to go downstairs he's too scared and and he, go, he tell his friend you know who's going down you know to see he will be my friend in the paradise you know you know he don't want to go down he's too scared check if your juju majuj are dead or still alive yeah, but if why he, didn't he go down you know he, he not sure you know he sent somebody if you go down it means you're sacrificed yeah. if they're alive they're gonna kill you yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because Isa, I'm not sure. You know, Isa, I'm not sure about Allah, and uh, you know, you know, he doesn't believe exactly. You know, in Allah. So one man will go down and find that they're all dead, and they will tell Isa alayhi salam, and then Isa alayhi salam, this will be a cause for him and his companions to descend from the mountains and come back on earth to eat yeah. and drink and live. Where are they gonna drink? The amount of this Gog and Magog is unbelievable amount. A number it is like more than the galaxy or more than star in the universe. So if they all dead in the earth, there is no way left, you know, to food even. There will be piles on them in the earth. He says, فَلَا يَجِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَوْضِعَ شِبْرٍ إِلَّا مَلَأَهُ زَهْمُ Ah, that's what we're saying there is they don't found any in inch in the earth is there is gog and magog so that's what i'm saying all this time where these people if this number you know they're gonna fool all the earth they have to be a place we can see them and they are actual human beings it's not like you can sell me what well, they are wasp or they are ants we cannot see them and that time they when the time coming they will grow like human and no they are human beings living now yeah, they will find a palm's length, a palm span of, of place on earth 
except that you will find either their, their carcasses, their dead bodies there, and their stench, they'll smell. So how we cannot see them crops or them body now and that the day of the judgment we will see them body you know this that's the myth thing you have to, we have to understand from this very badly then isa alayhi salam and his companions will ask allah again to remove why they keep they going to keep ask allah allah knows the future and knows the past he is the man who making the script of a horror movie nobody going to change anything because he who make this script script have to go to the plan so what's the point asking him to do something for you Move these people from there. So then Allah sends He will send birds that have necks like the necks of. Yeah, that's all he knows. They're gonna send the birds or they're gonna send the nagaf or this thing, animal, small animal in them, had to kill them. That's all he knows. Vulture. It will carry their bodies. Yeah. And this indicates to us that either their bodies are small in build. Yeah, so where they, if they are small in build and they are humans if they are like human they are have same dna as us they are from tribe from adam and eve or that they would have decayed you know decomposed yeah. to the point where they yeah. become so where are you gonna put them if they are decayed where are you gonna put this huge amount of people unbelievable you know numbers of people how is Allah where he is want uh, they say in the hadith in the sea and they throw their bodies places where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills for them then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends rain and he fertilizes the land and their stench is gone yeah. this is Yajuj and Majuj they are one of the major signs that the end of the world has come very very near why well, you didn't see anything you just found the morning you're telling us there is people and they come and they will eat you and this like a small people and like a uh, walking there zombies people where is this people bro Bye. finish okay thank you guys for watching and see you again for another video